the history of judicial review in this country. Judicial review is the doctrine that the Supreme Court can knock down laws. It's nowhere in the Constitution. It says that the Supreme Court is the final court of appeals with regards to matters of fact and law. In other words, they're, they're the final court of appeals. If, if, if Joe sues Bill and one judge says, okay, Joe wins, and then Bill is, appeals it to another judge, and that judge says, no, no, Bill wins or whatever. And it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Eventually, it has, the buck has to stop somewhere. That's the Supreme Court. For individual cases, for the first 60 years of this republic, the Supreme Court was often referred to, go back and read your history, as the chickens and dogs court, the dogs and chickens court. Great book on this written by uh, Larry uh, Lawrence, I'm forgetting his last name. He's, a, he's the uh, dean of the law school at Stanford University, and it's a book on judicial review. Larry Kramer was his name. And it was called the Chickens and Dogs Court because the vast majority of cases, America, you know, this was pre-industrial revolution. The vast majority of the business of America was growing things. We had lots and lots of farmers, and farmers would sue other farmers because that farmer's dog ate this farmer's chickens. And variations thereof. Ah, oh, he's moved his fence posts on my land. He moved the, you know, whatever. And these cases would go through the courts, and if multiple courts ruled in different ways, it had to go to the Supreme Court. And the, and the Supreme Court, go back and look at the cases, the caseload of the Supreme Court, the first 30 years of America. Dogs and chickens, dogs and chickens, dogs and chickens. One time in 1803, in Marbury v. Madison, the Supreme Court ruled that a law, the Judicial Act, the Judiciary Act of 1798, was unconstitutional and therefore... In the case of Marbury versus Madison, they were not going to enforce that law. Arguably, they didn't even strike it down. But that set a precedent that that's so angered Thomas Jefferson. He said, hey, wait a minute. The courts, it's not the court's job to decide if Congress passed a law that's constitutional or not. It's up to the Congress to determine what the Constitution means, and it is up to the President to determine what the Constitution means for themselves. And they can pass legislation and sign or veto legislation based on their decision. And the ultimate power in this country lies not with the Supreme Court, it lies with the people themselves. (laughs) 